welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. This is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining today. Last time we left off, we were experimenting a little bit with the atmospheric suits, the Atmo suits. Um, but we haven't quite figured out exactly how to deal with the slime lung just yet. But we're working on it. We are starting to dig up here towards uh, chlorine. If we can get some chlorine, uh, we might actually be able to use it for disinfecting some of our ore here. But we need a gas intake. So we're going to have to figure out how to pump chlorine gas there. The question is, where are we going to put that chlorine? How are we going to get it down that far into our base? Because it is quite far away. But I think we need to pump it down at least a little bit closer to deal with in other ways that we see fit. Oh, there's something over here. This is liquid water mixed in with polluted water. That's great. We are seeing a little bit more of the map now. We have some water up here uh, with things growing in it. Uh, we do have some carbon dioxide there, uh, some breathable oxygen. And uh, we've seen a little bit lower in the map too. Looks like there's a little bit of water over there too. Our water supply is getting fairly low, so we're trying very hard to dig into other areas. We're, we're making it a top priority right now. Uh-oh, there's slime lung right there. Look at that. Dangerous. I dug into that by mistake. Let's wall that off. another outhouse here. Once we're able to deal with the slime lung, we can very easily manage all of this polluted water with no germs in it. The slime lung is the problem. We have a Dreco up here. The Dreco, uh... Critters that graze only on live mealworm plants, their backsides are covered with fibers that uh, grow only in hydrogen climates. So there's some hydrogen up here too. Are they, oh, these guys excrete the phosphorite. And we can shear reed fiber off them too. Wow, they're pretty nice. So we do want to get those guys. There's some good stuff up there. There's some iron ore as well. We don't have any iron, so we're digging up towards it. Part of the problem is uh, the carbon dioxide up there is extreme. And of course our algae is in danger of running out too. Got a lot, a lot of polluted oxygen floating around here. But we're not letting it get higher into the colony very much. Building a lot of scrubbers to kind of take care of that. I think we could safely dig out this slime right here that we need. I think that slime is reachable too. I believe this one is safe to dig out. I think I'm gonna hold off on it. They're pretty slow running through this mess. Ooh, that's okay. This slime is separating us one step from uh, the bad one. He's happy to find slime. Look at that. See that? How are we doing up here? Meep is working pretty hard. Of course, it's hard for them to work because they climb up so high and then they have to get back to oxygen. So 
they're holding their breath and working here, and they still have quite a ways to go yet. So we're probably going to need to disassemble this atmospheric suit um, in the near future, because uh, we may need to use those somewhere else, or at least undock it. There's a little bit of oxygen there, okay. Yeah, if you can catch your breath there, more power to you. There may be little pockets slipping through that they can breathe in. We are eventually one to want to maybe think about containing our colony uh, and then using some airlock type devices with these things to get in and out of the colony. For now, we're just kind of exploring uh, and messing with some ideas. is becoming a high priority situation here and in the worst case scenario we're going to have to dig down into a slime lung infested pool just to get extra water because we're not able to disinfect yet slime lung is almost gone there is some here a very small amount Makes me feel like we should build a pole. Except the, the copper ore is used for that. And this is just a uh, kind of exploratory tunnel here. There's more chlorine way up there. This pinch of pepper plant doesn't necessarily need chlorine to grow. Balm lilies don't either. Uh, oh, it does. They're atmosphere chlorine. Okay. Likes higher temperatures, though. Yeah, it is a pretty long commute. <laughs> Drop some coal. probably no reason we can't make a couple more suits. Uh, it uses uh, two units of reed fiber, but we just burned those up. But um, we should be able we should be able to get some halt body temperature. Is it too warm now? Are we getting some heat problems here? Yeah, we got a little bit of heat going on in this area. Uh, it doesn't necessarily like the heat. Especially around the compost, it's uh, getting very hot in this area. It does produce a lot of heat, I guess. We may need to move those out.
farm tiles are lacking resources, insufficient water. Yeah, they're bringing it. It's just taking time. And if they grow widely, they're good. And we can grab the seeds off the ground, too. So that's just a free stuff right there. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And uh, let's make ourselves a couple more suits. we're gonna build anybody else we'll see what they're giving us here uh, ice we don't need a shine bug we don't really need medicine we don't need uh, construction strength not necessarily decreased strength no we're gonna reject all of them could have somebody to carry stuff or uh, we do have diggers abyssalite We are digging through some heavier stuff here, but we're still going up. There's a little chlorine right there, actually. Before we get to that, maybe I'll cancel some of this. I think we're probably high enough. I was just exploring up there to see what we could see, and there's lots of chlorine available. And some good plants up there, too. Balm lilies. Um, they, they like to grow in chlorine. Some uh, pincha plants, and they, they don't mind as long as they're in higher temperatures. We could probably deal with that. Mirth leaf will grow in almost anything there, and that's good. Decor, yeah, so we got some uh, some stuff there that we can get into. There's hydrogen up there as well. The biggest problem is we're going to need to have some uh, <laughs> some more generation of electricity up here, too for that and we're going to need to pump oxygen up there as well so we've got oxygen down in here that we can use to pump uh, i guess we can't pass it through the airlock but i don't necessarily need to you just run it up through the floor So we are going to need to make a temporary um, power station down here of some sort. And I think we need to probably uh, open up another level for our, our people. <laughs> but I think this floor is probably going to be a good one to do that with. We are going to need power, and we're going to do it manually for now. We're going to need to turn oxygen into this area, too, so that uh, all this carbon dioxide is going to fall down, though. But it's not that thick, but yeah, it's kind of a, a bad thing to have running through our station here. And dropping all the way to the bottom. I, it, it's just going to cause trouble for our uh, algae. There's a vacuum down here, and I thought about digging down to it, just to let some of the air fall in down here. Which is not necessarily a bad idea either. That CO2 will just fall all the way down into this area if we do that. Just a uh, quick fix. Let's go ahead and do it. And dig over to it.
<laughs> That'll pull all that CO2 down. Bubbles is in a little bit of trouble there. She'll be okay if they dig it out for her. She's working like a tra champ. Okay, she's able to get back up and breathe. <laughs> a little bit of panic there, Bubbles. That's all right. Thanks for helping out our team. CO2 just exploded into there. Look at that. Look at that moving in. And right here there is a lot of good copper too, which we eventually wanted to dig into anyway. So... Yeah, now we can go ahead and expand this. So now they're overcrowded. And we need to look at their ages here. Let's see which ones are getting pretty old. This one's 77, so we go ahead and uh, attack him. Gives us some meat. Sixty-five. That's a little baby right there. And we can attack this one too. And we can disable this airlock because uh, we know we're gonna let that that CO2 fall out. Twenty-five, twenty-three, sixty-five. Yeah, we're gonna take out the sixty-five-year-old. Uh, give us some food. Give us some barbecue. Got a little too much compost up here. We're gonna copy this. Um, drop some composting piles down here. And we're going to disable, uh, deconstruct a few of these, spread them out some. Bubbles is slightly disturbed by that. Let's uh, deconstruct her bed. We'll assign her up here. He's all the way up in his medical career. Um, I don't know that he needs to research. Let's see. Uh, he's pretty good with machinery. So let's go ahead and give him operating. Because we do have more and more machines coming our way. Let's check our medicine right here and see what we got. We have uh, allergy 73. Wow, curative tablets 5, vitamins 0. That's okay. Vitamins just need some coal. So let's go ahead and make uh, 20 of those. And we need 
need research. So let's see uh, right here. Don't know what it is, but we're okay. Okay, so this will allow us to start running our power again. Oh, we need some jumbo batteries. I'm gonna get a couple batteries going on in here. And of course, we're going to connect all that. And like I said, we don't mind our oxygen kind of flowing up this way. Look at all that polluted oxygen. <laughs> it doesn't really get up past this though. This is dropping out clay, so we can eventually use that clay for uh, kilns. This temporary power station up here is mostly going to be just to power our suits and our pumping oxygen up. And eventually we're going to make a room to contain all of our chlorine. timer here because our water is getting lower and lower and lower. <laughs> he's running low oxygen environment, but he's charging that battery. That's what we want. Alright, so I think the pipes can run through the floor, actually. I, I didn't actually check that. This is a liquid pipe. We need the gas pipes. Yeah, they can run through the floor there. Okay. What we're going to want to do uh, is, again, with the station here, but we're going to dig this out first. Uh, let's go ahead and dig. this out and here and what we're gonna want to do is build our station inside there too with our checkpoint we'll put our checkpoint uh, this way let's put it inside just a little bit more stations and that will be missing refined ore okay well, we'll build some more copper then somebody else to tidy because I don't know uh, if our tidy let's see if our tidy has a high priority person that's focusing on tidying here we do have Gossman focusing on tidying Meep is also doing it and so is Bubbles actually I wonder why this polluted water is not getting dumped there's no errands to it that's why can they not get to it are they not actually the bottler is off. That is the reason. Let's turn that on. Mm. 
now maybe they'll be able to deliver. We'll go ahead and extend this fire pole all the way down. I wonder why there's bottled water just starting to build up here. I guess we moved it and never rebuilt the uh, way to empty it. Meemaw. Approved construction. She likes that. She also likes doing research, but we're not going to let her do research. Sorry, Meemaw. So our algae terrariums down here are not as useful as before, so we can go ahead and deconstruct. Our algae's getting a little bit thin anyway. put it too low. Just near the ladder is good enough. And why not move an airflow tile right here? Um, I don't think airflow lets blocks liquid. Okay. Yeah. Construct this one too. I'm gonna deconstruct this one. We'll, we'll rebuild them as needed, but for the time being, I think it's okay. And instead, I'll save a little bit on our algae. So now we can build our Atmo suit dock. Let's build a couple of them. Our barbecue is unrefrigerated. Why don't they put it in there? Oh, okay. Barbecue. Then we put our gristle berry in there. We don't want our muckroot in. Actually, gristle berry might not go bad anyway, so. Looking just down here. Oh. We do have our Atmos suits already done. It's nice that we tapped into this zone with these uh, reeds, thimble reeds. Now we can use it as needed. Of course, there is oxygen up here, and oxygen rises. So it may just be a matter of pumping it <laughs> directly into here if we want to, instead of using pipes. Uh, pipes use sandstone, which we have plenty of. Our oxygen is rising up. I was thinking about putting the oxygen uh, right here because it is going to gather right in this area. Uh, the gas pump. You know, just right here. And then uh, the gas will just rise right... right there. Okay. 
tell him to deliver the suits. Oh, it hasn't been built yet. Okay, and we will run cable up there too. Power cables. This is uh, actually going to need... I, I shouldn't have done that completely like this. It is going to need to be separated. We could probably do it right here. A filter. Uh, let's see. Like this. It'll run in. The oxygen will run out and back up. And uh, we will just run out here and just vent it. Now for the power. There we go. Again, they may come out here and touch something uh, dirty, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure they have a wash basin. basin. Actually, uh, let's cancel that build and build it. Build around the edge there. Yeah, we're, we're doing insufficient oxygen now. Just because of this. <laughs> we took apart all of that algae. Alright, let's check the temperatures now. Yeah, this is evened out a little bit. This is warmer areas over here too. And in the middle, all those machines are heating things up. Coolest places for our guys are over here. These machines down here are probably putting out quite a bit of heat under the bedrooms, which makes it slightly warm. May's doing some improved carrying here. Could do some uh, better tidying too, I guess. But uh, let's go ahead with the supplies, I think. May is uh, supplying. Let's make sure she's supplying a little bit more. And also storing is good. I had planned to kill these germs, and it is kind of a little bit working, but it's not working as well as we'd hoped. So. What we could probably do is uh, continue to do something like this, but put our 
uh, generators and things closer to it and just make that really hot. I don't know if it's going to be enough to boil it. It may turn to steam then for boiling it. Um, those food poisoning germs... I don't know what, what temperature they die at, but we do have the option of chlorine if we want to try to figure that out. Germ-filled oxygen. Lyra. We do have allergy medicine. Go ahead and take that. She's going to go get some, maybe. Yeah, she took it. What is she doing? Okay. We still have snazzy suits laying on the floor here? We do. Um, how about giving it to... Meemaw. That is a long climb down. on it. Don't take time. That polluted oxygen is going to get scrubbed out up here, so that's no problem. Got a layer of scrubbers all in through here and some down here that are working to help minimize the what filters upward. Eye on that water. Quite a bit of chlorine. Oh, there's another building over here, too. And that slime lung, of course. It's blocking us from getting anywhere. Except straight up. There's bleach stone. Bleach stone uh, is good for curing stuff, too. Unstable compound that emits unbreathable chlorine is useful. Yeah. That Dreco I don't see why we couldn't just feed him mealwood. Since that's what he eats is mealwood plants. We got plenty of those. So we can make a room for those Drecos and get them. power here. There we go. Alright. Well on our way. Why isn't this... Oh, we need to get a suit here. Alright, so the plan is to make um, an airlock system, and then we are probably going to uh, come up well, we, we want to build, let's see, we want to build a chlorine tank. We could probably build that off to the side here if we made it build a big tank open area here. And we're going to want to pump chlorine gas only into there. And then we can make sure there's a pump in there and an out valve as well. Um, we need to make sure we have the airlock so that we can go in safely. 
through each of that and it'll probably come down from the top I'm thinking so we'll have this chlorine area here actually we could just pump it straight out of here but uh, I think it'll be yeah empty if we do that oh, it emits chlorine hmm Still saying we're not making enough oxygen. We were making a lot of it with the algae terrariums before. I have to think about how I want to do this, but. I could make an airlock right here so none of the gases get in, and then I could, uh, this is a vacuum down here and there's some CO2, but, um, what I, uh, uh pretty much want to do is pump out, uh, or, uh, let's see, we pump out the chlorine, or maybe we could just put the thing in there, you know, open this up a little bit and um, just assume that this is all going to be chlorine gas in this area. This little entryway is into chlorine gas zone. <laughs> and then pump it out and down. Wow, I have to run a pipe all the way down to this. You see, it's going to overlap this other pipe that's bringing oxygen. So that's why I was thinking about bringing the chlorine a little bit closer. And then um, maybe dropping it down... Uh, it still has to go quite the ways, doesn't it? To get to this scrubber. Let's see what we've got here. It's something to think about. Sand. We don't need sand. Um, not really interested. Well, another husbandry wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Another operator. No, I don't think we really need any of these guys. Morning. Kind of nice morning attribute. No, I'm not that interested in these guys right now. We'll turn it off. Hmm. I don't know what's producing chlorine. I do know that Bleachstone says that it does. It's an unstable compound. It emits unbreathable chlorine. But uh, does it decay? You know, like the other... Um, like the oxalite, does it decay like oxalite? If it decays like oxalite, then it's only going to be a, inf or a finite amount. And it, I'm not sure how long it'll last. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, digging up into this, and then maybe even up into here, so that it would, uh, the chlorine would be available for us. Oh, he's dropping phosphorite too, we like him up in there. So um, we're going to need to build an airlock here, maybe dig up here and all the way up in there. And then we can actually farm all this stuff too that's wild, and that's okay. And these guys are uh, Drekos, we can make a place for the Drekos too. So um, the problem then is how to get the chlorine down, how to get it down safely. So if we just open this up and pump the, the gas pump there, um, yeah... I would, I would hate to run it all the way down here. There is another option, maybe, and that is to empty gas canisters, you know, to make, to fill gas canisters. It says here, automatically stores piped gases into canisters for manual transport. And then we can manually transport that gas all the way down here uh, into some room we can make specifically uh, with chlorine in it. Uh, and then it could, they can empty the gas into that. Uh, and since we have the suit, it may be an option just to put it down in here and then just run the pipe right up there. I think that might be the best option, just to pump the chlorine out of the uh, of that. Yeah, see, this is filling up with oxygen, I think. But the other is shut off, not filling up. But it has enough that it's okay, but the other suit is not working, so... Okay! A few things to consider, and these guys are living in unbreathable gas. Can they live in that environment? 
they seem to be okay in it. Well, we don't want to torture them. We're going to let the gas fall out of here. Okay. Thanks for joining. In the next episode, we're going to continue to uh, get to that chlorine and make a setup so that we can scrub our ore. It may work. I'm not sure um, if it's going to actually clean our ore, but one way or another, we're going to have to get water. And uh, I think the best candidate for water would be to just uh, dig right down in the middle here and pump it right out of this mess. Um, for now, but we do have some water here too. But we're going to have to uh, think very carefully about how to get through this slime mold, but we're going to have to do it quick. All right, you guys take care. Thanks for joining. See you in the next episode.